Hello guys, greetings and good morning. I would like to make this video on applying on how you can get uh, a website to apply for your visas based on different countries, how to start to get them and where to get them and how you can access those websites and uh, this will pass students, those that have completed their training. And one thing I would like to also mention is that I will not provide the documents now on visa applications because I would like you to okay. I would like you to 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 have your admission we get that admission that is so you can come back that's when you can come back for your uh So that's when you can come back for your for your visa uh, documents for, for your application. Now, what I'm trying to do here is that you're here in the website. This is the Australian website. If you want to apply for visa for us to Australia, this is, the, this is the website, and this day. The, the link that a link to get there and how do I manage to get here what you need to do is that when you come here for example and you type and you install Twitter I am using Twitter when you install Twitter and you have to come to the search bar on Twitter and you type US Embassy Yaoundé is how you are supposed to type it. and it's going to display this logo for you and then you follow them that is like this you show follow you follow okay you do story in australia this is the australian official website you can see the social international yeah this australian website you have to apply for your visa that you are to locate to australia this is where you are supposed to get to so you need to type like this on your twitter and you follow them okay you follow them so this is for the U.S. Embassy, same as you can do for Canada, okay? When you come to Canada, Canada and Cameroon, this is how you are supposed to type, and this logo is going to appear, you follow them. The U.K., this is how it's supposed to appear, and this is how the logo is going to look like, all right? The Canadian, the logo you, you follow, here you follow, okay? You follow them, and here you are supposed to. Here you are supposed to, let me say Germany, you want to study in Germany, here is a website for the German embassy, you follow them, okay? When well, you must have followed them now, what do you do? You need to get into their website, let me get into the <coughs> US embassy website. For example, if I click here, I am into the US Embassy website and this is the US Embassy website and now what you have to do is that you want to apply for a visa the first thing I would be I would like to do if I win your shoe is to read the information displays you just need to come here no there's no information fighter here you just need to come here where you see me place my mouse click there You have to wait for it to load now i am in the website that into the website you can see these people like volunteers workers that work in the embassy here you can see these are volunteers the consulate the, the ambassador you scroll down 
here is he is he's the ambassador of the American embassy so you can see here the uh, um, you have to scroll down I should also read information that are displayed here now how am I going to start if I am here to actually or officially start my application what you need to do is that you come on this menu you can see country you can change the website into different country because if I click here this website is going to change and it's going to give me the website of this con of the embassy of this country site if I come here and search if you have anything to search you can search here the language if it's in, it is in French you just click here put the language in English here's a mini bar change the menu bar into uh, you can see when you click in this menu bar the menu bar displays a lot of information or specify that information that you will need to uh, to use or to search to investigate on if you, if you click here you will see a lot of information you see contact or educational and exchanges business job opportunities that have been posted by this embassy you click here you see a lot of job opportunities posted by this american embassy you have news and events you have materials you have u.s citizen services you have u.s passports you have u.s visas so if you click on u.s visas which is what you are looking for it will take you here once it take you here you can see a lot of information to here you need to go through and you read what visa what is a visa they will define you what a visa is for you to better understand for further readings you click here it will take you for further reason readings but if you want to go directly to the point you can see that your information they will ask you if you want to apply for a visa you need to submit or fill the form gx160 which is very important this form gs160 is a crucial document that you cannot obtain a visa or American visa without some filling this form so you have to take note when you get here you read through so you to understand this is a wizard okay this wizard visa types study or exchange right so let us take the visa well, is it for tourism that you are going for employment immigrate other type of visas is it for business for study and exchanges so you will be the one to actually uh, figure out but the type of visa you are looking for is what they call a non-immigrant visa which is a study visa okay you cannot be going for studies and you're applying for business visa or for tourist visa or for employment visa employment visa is when you are being hired by an employment year yeah, abroad so you have to go in for employment visa so but what we are concerned in is what they call student studies visa click here once you click here you're in this website it takes you directly here you see some information display once you click there on that visa category type when you scroll down you see the United States support international education and welcomes foreign student and exchange visitors before applying for a visa, student and exchange visitors must be accepted by their school or program sponsors. It's very important. So when you do that, you have to scroll down and you have what they call student visa F and M. Student visa is always M, F visa or M visa, F1, F2 or M or F visa. The J visa is always for programs that are not certificate related for volunteerism, exchange programs. Most of this visa J visa time. You have the visitor visa, which is B visa. See all visa categories. If you click here, it's going to provide additional visa categories for you. Okay. Now you can see non immigrant visa categories, immigrant visa categories. But this is not our purpose. Let us head straight to the point. Now we were on students' visa. When you click overview how to apply fees requiring documents spouse and children let us see something about the spouse and children 
We display a lot of information for you about spouse and children. By the way, you have even taken us from the start. No matter which we click, we still take and display all the information that is being enumerated. It's like a content. You have said you see student visa of overview. You have said generally a citizen of a foreign country who should enter the United States must first obtain a visa. You can see this information that is is being uh, enumerated or situated here. You can see the visa type to enter the United States to attend studies. You need the following visa categories: United States University or College, High School, Private Elementary School. Seminary Conservatory falls under the F1 visa, the F visa. And then another academic institution, including a language training program, a vocational or other recognized non academic institution, other than a language training program, is falls under M visa. Okay. Now you can see the student cannot travel on the visa waiver program or with visitor visas. Yeah, because some of a lot of people get visa denial, not because they are not uh, actually eligible for it, but because they apply for the wrong visa type. You are going for studies, but you are applying for employment visa or student visa uh, for a tourist visa. It cannot work. When you scroll down, you see a lot of information here about your spouse. Whatever information you need is here on this website. I just want to walk you through. For you to see the beauty of it there, these are facts okay they call these facts these things you are seeing here frequently asked questions and answers when you click you see that they are asking questions and they're answering them at the same time it means that a lot of your questions that you have if you come here you will see most of them are being answered so go through it and you watch and see how they are being asked and answered Presentation of fraud. Okay, you will see this now. Let us scroll up where you go. You will see all the further questions. We will ask you to contact them if you have any further questions. Scroll up as you scroll up. I am a little bit fast, right? But I am doing it's not actually a proper training here. I just want to walk you guys through for you to see the beauty of it and understand that most of these things that you go after agents paying the millions at times is wastage and is due to ignorance and lack of information proper information that make you to lose millions of money or being scammed by them it is something you can do all on your own without even spending any time from to anybody okay when you come here you will see application fee if you want to know the application fee of my country i will put the location of the same bus is Yaoundé, right? It's Yaoundé. Oh, I'll click go. It will display information about this. They say the type of non migration visa you are applying for. There is a progressive fee also known as the visa issuance fee. You must pay this fee in addition to the non-immigration visa application fee. Number of entries, yeah. Now, what type of visa do you want? Because from that visa uh, table, you see the visa types and categories, okay? Now you are going in for either for F visa, that is the type of visa for studies that they are going to issue to you, which is the F visa or the the F1 visa or F2 visa, the fee is known, it has not been displayed. Number of entries is multiple time. Multiple means that you can go there and then you come back and, and go again. Okay, you can go for study during holidays, you can come for holidays like December period and you go back, or during the first new year, you can come to your home country and you go back, which means it's multiple entries time, which is allowed. So they say valid period is 60 months. 60 months here means that a year is how many months? 12 months. Okay. It means that three years is how many months? It's three is three three years is 30 months, nine 30 is 30, 39 months, right? 39 months. It means this visa will obviously be valid for four years. 
valid for four years. Four years, yeah, four years and a half for to study this visa. That's why you can see here it's clearly written. And when you come down, you will see a lot of information too here that you can also go through to read. You can see you see general documents for your application for studies. You see, please check back for updates. You can see here. You can see the documents that are needed of you. You can see marriage divorce certificates. You can see a lot of information here that are needed and other travel documents that are needed. You can see visa issue post. You can see here a lot of things. So let us go back and we should also explore some other features you can see here the type of visa the duration the month then let's go back and let's take application fee right it's selected by application fee you say no please check the individual embassy or consular website to determine if your case is eligible for a waiver the embassy or consul that's not necessary Click yes, I won't be right. Okay, the duration of the visa time for your country. How long does it take for your visa to be issued? That's another pertinent question you should know. It takes you 78 calendar days per day. You are going in for F1, M, or J visa. Anyone going for these visa categories, it takes 78 days for their visa to be released. A month is 30 days. Two months is 60 days already, which means that it is going to take them uh, a, a two months, two months, three weeks, two months, three weeks for your visa to be out. Okay, for you to for them to call you for an interview, two months, three weeks. So come here with time. Okay, say Yaoundé. Let's say Yaoundé. You see, yeah, it's 78 days. Okay, 78 days. Same here, if you click Yaoundé to see, you see, see the same thing here information. Yeah, something like this. Click here, it will take you where we were. Here, okay, take it here and then you go back. That's how it looks like. This is how the beauty of it generally not required. Okay, these are the age range you fall under. You will not be required to come for an interview, they'll just ask you to consent your passport. Now, it is now said that frequently asked questions facts about visas, the basics. You want to know more about visas basics? You come here. What type of visa are available for people to come to the United States? You see, these are facts that have been asked and answered. And these are the type of questions that a lot of you out there are asking. And you don't even know how to go or who to answer you properly. Now, the United States Embassy has asked some of these questions and they have answered them again back. Okay, if you come here, you will see type of visa for temporary visitor or visa type for information you click here you will see which is what we saw as we first of all open this portal how do i read and understand my visa you come here this is how to read and understand everything is being displayed for you here you can read you can say check that you are you see this is how you read your visa and identify you can see all of these Features that is being displayed and is being explained here all everything in you know, your visa. This is how the visa looks like. Okay This is stamp that is stamp on your passport and these informations here are there for you to interpret this information This is how to interpret them. They have Actually like enables or facilitate things for you. My visa is right in five years. What does this mean? This is what it means you read and then you understand. Okay, my old passport has already expired. My visa to travel to the United States is still valid, but in my expired passport, do I need to apply for a new visa with my new passport? These are common questions that you post every day, and it is here. There is nothing wrong with this. 
Nobody's going to scam you on this website because it is clean and clear here. You see, everything is elucidated. You see, I changed my name. It's my UA visa with my own name still valid. You see, what are the indefinite validity visas? What is administrative processing? You can see, you read here, you understand. Here too, you read, you are going to understand. Fees for visa survey. Page for a list of fees. You click here, you will see the fees. You see, these are all questions that you ask. You see, social media identify visa applicants from state sponsor of, ter of terrorism countries. I would like to know if my friend has applied for a visa and what the status is. Who should I contact? You see, they will give you who to contact or who not to contact. How do I know whether to contact the Department of State or Department of Homeland Security about my issue? Can I get a visa visa for bird tourism? You see, I have two issues. Which password should I use? Click here. I may have a claim to U.S. citizenship. Can I apply for a U.S. visa? You see, my passport with my visa was stolen. What should I do? This is what you should do. This is another one. All of these things. This is when you lost your passport or it has been stolen from 194S. Now you scroll up and then you come. You see. Let's go back. You can see, we want to see that you click here, okay? Fact about DS160, education, education user, learn more. You have to learn more about education, you click here. The form DS160 is the form that you fill when you want to apply for your visa. You cannot apply, get a visa without filling this DX160 form. Now, what is this about? All these things written here, the service and the SEVP and the SEVIS. The SEVP is a form that is being issued to you by your school when you get admission. And this is to uh, register you for the Homeland Security as a legal immigrant. And this form, if you are going with your spouse, this form has to be issued for your own and that of your spouse and for your children. Is this form that you will use for your visa application, not only your admission offer. When admission offer is out, you request for this from your school and it's going to be issued to you and you will use them to apply for you to relocate with your family. Okay? Now, you must feel what they call the form DX160. The form GS160 This is a form 120. You must apply this, you must provide this form. This form is related to this thing that I was trying to explain here. Okay, you request it from 120 from your from the school. Then save you 19001 fee. Yes, you have to pay for this. And then you can come here from GS160. Let us see a fax about from GX160 which may frequently ask questions and answers. If you have any questions about the, the, that, facts about visas, the basic, the United States visit the USA. Where can I find the TS-160? Here is it, they are provided here. You see, how I am having problem accessing the TS-160. They give information on how to do that. What document do I need to have with me while I complete the GS160? These are the documents you need. You see, this form is a form I said it must be supplied to you by your by the school you apply to, or the DX two zero one nine. It will be given to you by the school. When you get your admission, request this form from your school, and when you must have done that, petition based temporary workers. You should have a copy of your 
129 available when completing your GS160. You see, other temporary workers. This for workers, this for students, okay? Students and for workers. Can my, can my answer be in my native language? No. Are additional forms required? Are all questions on the GS160 mandatory? Most questions are mandatory and must be answered in the space provided. So even if, make sure you answer everything, you see, the questions are much. The questions you might be doubting are here. They have all supplied them here and supply you to the links that you can get there. I am applying for a treaty trader. You see, all of these things are here. And the links are even provided to you to directly go there and apply. Let me now click on the form GS160, which is the form you need to complete before you start applying. As soon as it's from 120, GS120 is given to you, or GS2019 is given to you by your school. So for you to start, let us take a sample of this from GS160. This is how the form looks like. This is how the form looks like. This is how it looks like, you see. You need to fill it, upload your passport, authenticate, start application, upload an application, start an application, yeah, retrieve an application, upload an application. You can see all of these things that have been given to you. You can see them here, okay? These are the informations. These are just open, you play around it, it's much. You can see the form. This is the form. This is the, what they call the form GS160 that you are hearing of. You see? This is it. So, if you want to apply for your visa, this is what is needed. And they will ask you to even upload your profile. This is the profile picture you have to upload. They will give you the size, the pixel you have to snap and upload. Okay? For your, for your application for this form. So this is it, and then you can see this is how your picture is to look like. Snap like this, you paste. Now let us go back and see how you can apply this. I'm having a problem accessing the GS160. This is the GS160. You can take here to apply. Where can I find the GS160? Here is it. Just contact here, you will see the GS160. Or better still, let's go back. I am just walking you through, okay? That's why I'm a little bit fast. But if it was actually something that I, you guys wanted to like apply, at least you could have seen. Because watching this video multiple times, it means that you are going to, uh, you are going to uh, actually understand. So, there is a form GS160. 160. Let's click here. Here is from GS160. This is the fax. If you click here, it will take us to that fax. You see, these are the fax. This is where we were, right? This is where we were. We take you here. So, how do you go back when you are here? Just, just come here. You when you get the fax. You just Click here. See, it takes us back where, where I came back. Okay, now, you say select a location where you will be applying for this visa. I want applying for this visa from Cameroon. Okay. When you enter, enter the code you see. You enter this code. You enter it. Eight D is capital letters eight D K R okay eight T K R so once you must have entered this the next thing for you to do is what you will see, please always make sure you read okay reading is very very important don't be uh, 
fast in what you do. You have to take your time, you read. That's one step to success. Really, very important. So you have to read. The website is designed to be accessed using Chrome, Edge, or Firefox on it. So when you read this, which means if you don't have these apps on your phone, it will be difficult to access this if you've been using by your phone to do so. But I, 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 I advise that you should use but a laptop to get this to see all the features properly. Okay, don't use your phone to apply when you're applying for this thing. Start an application. You drop an application. You'll be asked for your application ID and answer a security question. You will be asked for your application ID and answer a security question. When you print this, you should have a copy of it and you should read through and understand each and every feature that you have placed because they might use some information here to, to against you. Okay, to trick you up. Like the, the, the application ID and a security questions. They always ask you that. Start application. Mm -hmm. I want to start my application. This is how it, when you are to start, it look like. Okay, it look like this. When you scroll, now, if I click here, you will not you you will not see it working. Why? Because I haven't initialized the application. I need to initialize this application before I can start or I can begin doing inserting my informations on this form ds160 okay now let me go now initialize where do you initialize you initialize by agreeing to these terms that is written here computer fraud and abuse act notices okay so i need to agree here i initialized i've initialized the form i've agreed now i can now start you can now see that i can even i put my arrow here you are seeing You're seeing a, a type here. Start typing. What is the given name of your mother's mother? Provide a name here. Then you take continue. See, it cannot go because I haven't provided any information under there. But had it been that I provide an information there, it would have gone through to the next page. So instead of taking me back, then I have to restart and then I go. So if you if you don't feel this and this, this will not open for you to 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 to, to, to begin your application. And the same as if you miss an information without providing, you will not move to the next page. It will might be instead take you back. So whenever you even feel, make sure you save your work. Okay. So this is the beauty of it, and this is what I wanted to show you guys. This is how it look, and this is from DS one sixty. You have been hearing of even when you win the this DV lottery, you need to fill this form. And more to that, as I have walked through this environment, if for those that have already passed through the training on how to find admission and scholarship wherever they are starting their application, when you get that admission, you come back to me, then we are going to still walk you through and work the documents properly the way you are supposed to, but the documents you have to use for your visa application and in order to avoid denial and delays. Okay, it's 100% guaranteed. There is no thing for you to be afraid of. So this is how it is, this is how it work. Um, the same thing you are seeing me doing here, providing this training, this is the kind of things that you pay 5 million, 3.5, 2.5 million to immigration agents or, cons or immigration agencies or traveling agencies. That huge amount of money which you could use. What have I used? I have already used up to two megabyte browsing on this thing, but Five million, you, are so, you, you decide to go and pay five million francs CFA to agents to apply for this for five million or 3.5 million. You see, you see, the application fee is 160 dollars uh, close to a hundred thousand. 
So now here you haven't spent a dime. You are doing all of these things. You have taken your time to do it. You now see the reality into it. How much have you lost? Nothing. You haven't lost any money. Flexible and simple. You do your things when you want. You can do now like this and you save. You come back to it later and continue where you ended. Okay. So you will always lock in. So that is it. That's how it is. So always make sure that you do your things yourself because I know what I'm saying. So even the ambition that people are feeling of getting and feeling of relocating to your dream countries because you need the service of someone to do it for you. That's why you're feeling and stuck where you are. But when somebody like me or like us, like an educational consultant come, that come, let me show you the ways, the proper means. And he give a training fee for you to, 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 to pay. You feel like the, the money, the money is much. What if you're going to an agent and he tax you 5 million, 3.5 million? What are you losing with you taking this training and do all of these things and getting succeeded? I am there. It's not like when I train you, I allow you to go. No. I'm still there to listen to you. When you are stuck, if you are even stuck here, you get to me. You screenshot and send. I am there to tell you that do be like this and then you keep going. That is it. You come to a visa, tell you that do like this, put these documents like this, and then you apply. It's going to go through. You do it. That's why you need an, a supporter, not an agent. When you contact me, I don't bill you. I don't ask you any money. But in my training, you need to pay, you register for the training. And the registration for the training is very simple and minute. So you now see the beauty of it. What a lot of you are failing to understand, this training is very flexible. You take it any moment you want. It doesn't have anything to do with your day schedule or you are preparing for, preparing for your exams that you want to concentrate for your exams. You can just take one hour. You, you go through it. You are good to go. Or 30 minutes, 5 minutes, 2 minutes, you are done. So that is the beauty of it. And you have the knowledge. Knowledge is something that you will never uh, expire. It's always with you. But some of you prefer the hard way. You will see the hard way as the easiest way of which it's the hard way. Anything that is cheap smells. Okay? So take your training and get trained. And for those that are to start on Friday for their training, I have sent the course outline you are to go through. I have said that from the seven, from the first day to the seventh day of the training is laying of foundations. It's very simple and straightforward. You just need to do your little tax and submit your assignment. Most of the tax lessons will be like one page of half a page. You read and you submit. It looks so simple. You might think that what uh, is this what this guy or this person is kind of like giving to take this amount of money. You think the money is much? The information, your brain. The brain is what matters. Okay. When you get that information, then that's what each and every bit of that information is interconnected. You will use them along the way. So, you will do that. I think maximum should be two pages at most or three pages at most for some lessons. Two pages. It will take you five minutes to go through and do your assignment. From the first to the seven. After that, from the eight. That is when it's going to be something you need to put an effort and put a lot of concentration and do your assignment do your tax but it's not like it will take you the whole day or the entire one hour no it's only when we come to application admission search with scholarships and cheap schools that you are going to see the reality and the beauty of it preparing your documents how to apply how to make sure you succeed everything is there how to communicate with the schools that is it loan organization how to apply for loans i'm going to make a video on that so there's nothing strange on this whatever you want to travel the same method australia japan switzerland poland Netherlands, wherever america us canada it's there i even asked the some of you to install some apps for to search for jobs for those that want job since people like search means do it and upload your profile and put your credentials and they start searching for those jobs 
So that's a bit of it. <clears throat> so that is it. If you have any questions after watching this, make sure you reach out to me and you provide any necessary question that you have. I am willing and able and available to answer them. If it's above me, I'll tell you it's above me. If I don't know, I will tell you I don't know. But I will assure you that I must know. I must provide you the right answer and the right information you need to know. Succeed. That is it. The same thing you do here, the same thing that when you want to apply for your schools in your home country, there in Cameroon or in Nigeria, you use but the same method to sit and apply. It's quite unfortunate that even some people, when it's your university in your country, some of you don't even know how to apply for those schools, for your own university in your country. If I am lying, tell me that I am lying. Some of you pay people to do your applications for you. You don't even know how to apply to your own university in your country. Hmm? You don't even know how to apply. That's the truth, the beauty of it. You don't know how to apply for those universities in your country. So if you don't know how to do that, is this, this one that you can do it? No. Learn how to do it. I will train you and you will relocate. 100% guaranteed. So don't, don't get freaked up. Some of you take the training and when you contact one or two supervisors, they don't reply to you. You start tightening your mouth that you have wasted your money up. I always say that in the training, don't go in for a research-based program in January. I am not saying that so because you cannot get a supervisor for general entrance. You can, but chances are very limited. It's only good to go in for a course-based program in winter or January session so that you will not need to secure a supervisor. If you want to go for a research-based program, program yourself to, try to relocate or to start your application or your studies in January, so that you start your application for this for in September, pardon. So that as you are starting your application for the September entrance, you should look for a supervisor for that September entrance or fall entrance. They are available by that time. You email them, they will reply to you. But when you are going for January entrance, I email them. They already have students under their supervision. They can't take extra. Okay, can't take extra. So remain calm. But if you have going for a course-based program, just do your application. That's all. But for research, you have to secure a supervisor. I will show you how to secure them, show you how to write them. If they don't reply to you because they abuse it or they have a lot of students in there under them. Okay. So that is it. This is how it looks. Tomorrow I will make another video on how to apply for visas in Canada. I will walk you through. Here is not actually a, a proper application. You can see the PDF format of the DS160. You can download it. You go through, get acquainted to it. You know, understand the type of question they ask before you start officially, official application like this. Okay? But you understand it and you, 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 you understand the questions and the information they need. You prepare the documents. You ask questions on how to go about it before you start officially as it is like this. So that... You should make sure you provide the right documents and the right information at the right time at the right place to avoid some un unforeseen circumstances that might lead to some unnecessary denial that doesn't even have any sense. Okay, a lot of people get visa denied because of the form DX160. It takes you 90 minutes to fill this form. 90 minutes to fill this form, and you can fill and save and return to it later to complete it. You will not sit there on a spot and feel everything now. 90 minutes, closer to two hours. So that is it. Make use of the PDF format, the sample, you go through, you can print it, okay? Or you can screenshot and print and you, you, you go through to understand. So tomorrow, we, I will go into the Canadian website. Today, we are done with this US. Go to Canadian website. After that, Australian. After that, uh, UK, Germany. All right show you because the website are different they are not programmed the same i'll show you how to you know manipulate it go through them all right how to use them properly so thank you so much if you have any question you can go ahead and
and next. Thank you.